All right, welcome back. This is Captain Amy Coppage again with Chesapeake Marine Training Institute. And the next problem that we're going to do is finding out what the current was. What is set and drift? Set and drift seems to be one of the more difficult problems, mostly because there's a bunch of steps that are involved in it, and so there's a lot of places where you can make mistakes. But uh, generally, uh, what you're going to do is plot your position, lay out your course, plot your second position, and then determine where you should have been on your course line and then compare the two spots and see if there was any current. So the first thing that we're going to do is read through the problem. It says at 0817 your GPS says that you're in position 37 degrees 01.6 north, 075 degrees 31.7 west. You're on a course of 182 PSC so that tells me right there that I have to convert that to true before I can put it on the chart and our speed is 9.2 knots. At 0913 your position is 3652.3 north, 075 30.8 west. What were the set and drift? And it gives us several multiple choice options. Okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, figure out the time difference and my true course just so I can have all of that set up. So for time, remember that we're going to put the later time, the arrival time, on top. So we've got 0, 9, uh, 13, and we left at 0, 8, 17. So I'm going to draw my time t in here. Okay. And I can't take 17 from 13, so I've got to borrow an hour, which makes that 8 and plus 60. So I get my calculator. 60 plus 13 makes that 73. Now I can take 17 from that. 73 minus 17 equals 56 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a decimal because I know I'm going to need that later for my DST triangle. 56 divided by 60 equals Point nine three three of an hour. All right. The next thing that I'm going to do is determine what my true course is. T V M D C. Okay. Plus west minus east, and when going up, plus east minus west. Okay, so it tells me in the problem that my course is 182 PSC, so I know I have to put that there. Now I'm going to go into my deviation table and look up 182. 180 is real close to 182, so I'm going to use 2 degrees of west deviation. Okay, when going up we subtract west, 182 minus 2 gives us 180. And in these problems, it tells me that the variation is 9 degrees west. I'm still going up, so I'm still going to subtract west, so minus 9, which gives us a true of 171 degrees. So that's going to be my true course. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plot my first position. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute, and I'm going to plot my first position. So it tells me that I'm at 3701.6. So I've got 3700 right here where it says 37. 01 and then 6 tenths past that. So I'm going to put my point on 37. I'm going to come up to 01 and then go past it six more small tick marks, which would be 3701.6. Okay? And then it tells me that I'm also at 7531.7. So I'm looking across the bottom here. 7531 is here, and 0.7 would be seven tick marks past that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that over. And you could take it to the reference line, but I've got a little bit more experience with this. So you could go here, make a mark. That's fine too. And then uh, 
31.7, so 75, 31, and then seven tick marks past that. Slide that up to where you made your mark and cross it up. So that position right there, and I'm gonna use a little bit bigger marker, that is our position at 0817. Okay. Now from there, it said that I was on a course of 182 PSC, but I know that I've converted and that's 171 true. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my true course of 171. So I'm going to come over to my compass rows. We haven't gone over how to use this yet, but if you know how to use it without the rows, go right ahead. <clears throat> so 171, true. Remember to use the outer ring lined up with the crosshair in the center. So I've got 171. I'm going to roll that over to my fix. And I'm going to draw out my course. Okay, draw it nice and long. Now, I'm going to plot my second fix. So my second fix was at 3652.3. So I've got 3650, and I know that this is 51, and this is 52, so three little tick marks past that will be 52.3. My longitude is 30.8. This is 7530. So 0.8 would be here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that just above where 30.8 would be. And I can mark it on the reference line just to be more accurate. 30.8, so 30 and then 8 tenths past that. Remember the numbers get higher going to the left. So I'm going to bring that up to my mark, cross it up. That is my second fix at 0913. Okay. Now, what we're trying to figure out with current is obviously I did not make this course good because if I did, I would be on that course line somewhere. But I was pushed off. And so, let me make this just a little longer. If I had actually made the course of 171, I would have fallen somewhere on that course line, but I didn't. So I know that there's some current or wind, in this case it's current, pushing me off. So what I've got to figure out is where on that line would I have been at 0913? So that is solving for distance. So what I've got to know is how to do a D street triangle. Okay, we've covered that before. Put in your distance divided by speed times time. We're looking for distance. We're looking for how far down the line we would have went at 913. I know the time, so I'm going to just bring that down. 0.933. Make sure it's in a decimal. And I know my speed because it was given to me in the problem. My speed is 9.2. Because I know how to use the triangle, I'm going to go top down or left to right. So speed times time. Use your calculator, 9.2 times 0.933 gives us 8.58 nautical miles. So that's how far down the line I should have gone in the time period that was allotted at my current speed. So I've got to measure 8.58. Now this will stretch just about that far, so we're going to go ahead and try it. So this is five, one, two, three, four, five. Always use the latitude scale. Okay. Six, seven, eight point five. It's just at eight point five eight. This compass opens up to just about that distance. If you can't reach the distance with one spread of your compass, just divide it into two and do two equally measured marks. It's not a big deal. So from my fix here, I'm going to make a mark. That mark right there is called a DR, dead reckoning. That is where I should have been at 0913. DR has a half circle, fix, electronic fix has a triangle, uh, visual fix would have a circle or celestial. 
So we're just using the symbols. Those are not that big of a deal, but it's just a good habit to get into. So now what we're trying to solve in this question here is direction and speed. So we are looking for the set and the drift. Set is direction, drift is speed. It's very important to understand those two because sometimes people will just measure the distance and put that as drift. And drift is not distance, it's speed, it's the velocity of the current. So if it's direction, I kind of know I need to use something that measures direction, right? So the first thing that you're going to do is always measure from dr to the fix. From the dr to the fix. So this is my dr. I'm going to measure from the dr to the fix. Okay. So I'm lining up the two marks I made, where my fix was and where my dr was. And then I'm going to roll that over to the center of my compass rows, and I'm going to make a mark. And that mark puts me right about 219, 219 degrees. I lined up my dr and my fix, and I just went over to my center of my rows, and it puts me right about 219. Okay. DR to fix. I can see visually that I was pushed in a southwesterly direction this way. I was pushed southwesterly. So that makes sense to stay on this side of the compass. If the fix was over here, it would be northeasterly and I would go over on this side of the rows. But because I was pushed down and to the left, that's southwest. Okay? South and west, that's a southwesterly direction. So that is the first part of my answer. The second part I'm going to measure, so I'm going to use the divider. Divider has two points. I'm going to use the divider to measure the distance. And I'm going to measure the distance between the dr and the fix. And I'm going to use my latitude scale. And I got 1.05. This is where your second D street is going to come into play. 1.05 is my distance. Same time as used, 0.933. Distance divided by time, 1.05 divided by 0.933 gives us 1.1 knots. Our drift is 1.1 knots. So I go back and I look at my choices, and I have 219 at 1.1, which works pretty good for C, and that is the answer. Now, you're not always going to get dead on these. I would say if you're within 5 degrees and a tenth or so of the knots, you'll probably choose the right answer. Typically, these problems have two that are off in the other direction or sometimes the exact reciprocal and then it'll have one that's close or it'll have one that has the, the distance as the answer and they're just looking for you to choose that because you forget to do the second D street. One D street is for the DR, the second D street is for the drift. So this is DR and this is drift. Okay, so that's the set and the drift. Let's review what we did. First thing I did was convert the time using the time given in the problem. I had uh, 9.13 and 8.17. I took the time difference. I got 56 minutes. I divided that by 60 to get it into a decimal, 0.933. I also converted my course, which was PSC, to true, 182. I used my table to get the deviation of 2 west. Math gives me 180 because I'm subtracting west. Variation is given, 9 west, I'm still subtracting 171. That's the true course we're going to lay out. Now, if this problem would have said 182 true, you'd leave it alone and you just plot it as is. Everything can go on this chart that's true. So the next thing I did was plotted my first position. So I took this Latin long and I plotted it right here. Once I had that, I laid out my course of 171 
using the rows and my, my parallel plotter, lined up 171 and walked it over and just struck a line. Then I plotted my second fix, which was given here. Okay. Once I did that, I determined where I should have been on the line at the same time, so my DR. So in order to figure out the distance, distance, I had to, to get the speed and the time. Speed is given in the problem of 9.2, and the time I had calculated earlier between the first fix and the second fix. Multiplied those two to get 8.58 miles. I took that 8.58 miles with my compass. I went to my latitude scale because that's where we measure distance. I laid out 8.58 miles, and that was my DR. Once I have that plotted, now I'm ready to solve. Set is the direction that I was pushed off, and we said it was southwesterly. So I lined that up with my parallel plotter, and I walked it over to the rows, and it gave me 219. 2119 is the degrees of set, the direction I'm pushed off. The drift is the distance pushed off, and I put that in a D street, and I'm going to divide it by the amount of time that passed by. So I was pushed off 1.05 nautical miles in 0.933 hours. Do the math, distance divided by time, and I get our speed of 1.1 knots. Now, if any of this was too fast, you can always rewind or pause and make sure that you're up to where I'm at in the problem. But uh, practice these because there's a lot of steps involved in it, but it's pretty doable once you've practiced it a little bit and gotten used to it. So that's how you do set and drift. And go practice some in your student workbook.